know. I guarantee you I scared a snake or something. We are Samantha and Wade, a husband and wife who is always seeking adventure in everything we do. We just purchased 10 acres of wooded property near family with the intention to build not only our new home, but what possibly could be a small family compound. So come along as we start our new adventure. We couldn't wait a second to get out here. Wade loaded up the truck while I was at work uh, with all of the tools so we could start clearing out a path to drive down on the property and explore it a little bit more. So the property has two entrances in the front and one is grown up so we really haven't been able to go over there yet but this side had a little bit of a driveway um, so that's kind of what we're working with right now. We uh, started clearing out that driveway so we can walk down without having to worry about getting bit by a snake or just stepping on anything so that's kind of what we're trying to do trying to get a path cleared we don't have much time to work on this so we closed today we were supposed to close last week we leave for Disney the day after tomorrow and there's a hurricane coming through Louisiana which is just south of us and um, we're gonna get a lot of the effects from that storm it's gonna start storming tonight it's gonna be raining so we're not gonna be able to come out here for at least a week and a half. So we couldn't wait any longer. We just really wanted to come out here and just start looking at our land and it, we're just really excited. So um, we are probably gonna be building on the back side of this property and it's a very long ways to get back there. Um, so we've walked back there a little bit but we haven't been able to explore too much. So that's kind of why we need to start cutting some stuff down. Um, we're not gonna cut trees down just yet, not until we get back from Disney, but I do want to um, just make a clear path so we don't get bit, like I said. Um, but yeah, I wanna show you guys around. I uh, wanna show you kind of what we've seen so far. There's not much to really see, but I did wanna show you guys before we started cutting anything down um, other than the pathway to walk on. So let's go explore the property a little bit. Where we were just a second ago is just around there. And Wade's cleared out all of this spot right here, and he's kind of working going back that way. But right here, there's like an old little barn or something. Um, we're going to have to tear down. And then just around the corner here, I'll show you in a second, there's like a little house. I don't, I, it's an old little tin house, but I don't, I, we haven't looked inside, so I don't really know what's in there. <laughs> kind of scared. But it's really pretty out here. Wade has only been able to mow up to this spot right here. And then we go down like a little gradual hill. So this creek right here. Muggle Creek. Oh my gosh. Has a bridge on it. Of course we're gonna have to fix that. Cause we're planning on building right past this creek. Past my sister. Nice stones <laughs> throw away. It's so exciting. It's so beautiful out here. Just like the, the light shining through. It's not even that sunny of a day, but the light shining through some of these spots. Um, we're going to try to keep it as wooded as possible, just thin out around our house. Um, yeah, we're going to try to leave it as natural yeah. as I really can. wish we could come out here tomorrow after all of the storms and stuff and see how um, wet it gets. We've only seen it dry. It's been very dry recently since we decided to buy this land. So we haven't seen it wet yet, but we're going to have to wait. Maybe it'll rain a little bit after our trip. So there's really not much of a path past the bridge so we're gonna stop there Wade is going to go back up to the truck and try to mow a little bit more until he runs out of gas um, he says he's gonna come out here tomorrow just to see what it looks like because um, he has a little bit of free time tomorrow while it's raining so maybe he'll bring you guys along for some of that but that is all we have for today not much we're so excited though Cannot wait to bring you guys along for such a fun and exciting adventure.
I just cut out running where he's over there looking at that little watering hole by those blinds and I'm shaking because <laughs> I don't know what it was but it definitely made the water it went bloop like something jumped in there I'm like shaking no I guarantee you I scared a snake or something <sighs> Oh wow, ain't that crazy? Okay, so, that's a lot of mowing. Yes. <laughs> we got a question for you. Mm -hmm. Is there any way you can get rid of the critters for us? What'd you see? Well, I think I might spiders have heard like a snake the and there's big, spider right big spiders yes, everywhere you you're mowing. Um, but there's a possibility that there's snakes in that creek. Well, there's, 10 acres of wooded land. I think the possibility is pretty high. All right, so you're not gonna get rid of them for us? Yeah, they'll get rid of themselves over time. It has been a long week since we bought the land and since we were out here last, um, we did Disney, we went to Chattanooga, we filmed two weddings and now we're back here. <sighs> so excited um we're gonna clear out the front part of the driveway we had the truck um in my sister's car kind of in the spot when we never like when you first pull in and we never actually cut that area until we left we were we realized that we had never moved the vehicles to clear that area so we're gonna clear that down with the mower and then wade's gonna get his pole saw and some other things and try to make the driveway just a little bit wider um because it's like basically just scratching the vehicles when you drive through so um we're just gonna do some minor things there's really not much we can do but we're just really excited so we wanted to come out here and just do something see the land and whatever the mower stopped right when i was almost done with this little spot right here just like this thin little section <laughs> um but wade is trying to get that last little bit in the front mowed up um there's just a lot of uh sticks and just like fallen tree limbs that are like breaking and i just didn't feel like com i didn't feel like comfortable i didn't feel that comfortable going over them so he's just gonna try to clear out that little side right there but it's actually starting to rain so he's gonna try to do that first and if it doesn't actually rain i'll finish what i was actually doing before i ran out of gas And how I felt yesterday, walking <laughs> back and forth and back and forth. Well, it is a beautiful Mississippi morning. The temperature is just absolutely stunning. And um, I think it's supposed to be cool for the rest of the week and maybe here on out, which is fantastic because there's still a lot, and I mean a lot of work that we've got to do to clear out this path all the way back down to the bridge. Um, yesterday we came and tried out the new chainsaw, which worked perfect. Uh, Smith and I came out here and started. Um, later on her brother Sam showed up and decided he wanted to give a, a go with the chainsaw and started cutting down some trees for us and Smith and I um, began dragging them back up the path all the way back up to the entrance where we want to kind of keep all of our piles of uh, junk the trees that we're going to burn later when they dry out up towards the front because it's just a, a bigger more wide open space um, to do that sort of thing now I am going to keep some of the larger um, trees down towards the end I am going to cut them up for firewood um, because we do plan on doing some camping as much as we possibly can during the cooler months but today, I need to finish pulling out 
some of the trees because it did get dark um, and we did get tired so I'm gonna spend a few hours to th this morning first pulling out and cleaning up what we did yesterday and then starting to cut a little bit more to make this uh, this drive uh, driving path much wider um, so that we can drive down there so got my gloves my safety glasses got my chainsaw you just saw fix to start cleaning some stuff up and uh, hopefully be very productive today well this is definitely a first in a short amount of time that we've owned this piece of property my truck has made it all the way down to the creek I'm doing this because it's like right on the other side of the camera so that's pretty exciting I just really walking from down here all the way up is absolutely exhausting um, which I was able to pull my truck about halfway down here um, a couple of days ago and it has been raining so I'm really really excited that the that the ground is not soft so that's good news but uh, I've got quite a bit of more chainsaw cutting to do um, I do have some of the bigger logs or bigger pieces of trees that I was talking about earlier that I'm fixing to cut up I've already started on some I'm not dragging the smaller pieces all the way back up to the front of the property I'm just going to kind of like push them off to the side and move them to an area that we probably will never use and just let them kind of wither away over there but I'm pretty proud pretty happy so I don't know what he's shown you but this is so much wider so much clearer of a spot that we'll be driving through um you can kind of see like my brother hey we haven't piled those trees up yet but he's got a bunch of those he has um down that we're gonna have to gather up he's got a bunch over here on the side gathered up just past that big tree right there on the left and then um yeah he just basically has been knocking them down so we're gonna have to gather those up but we have gathered up that pile right there and then over here basically where my sister is going to build we have a couple of piles as well so we've got a pile right there started and then we've got a pile two different piles started over here this is where we're going to burn a bunch of them but we didn't want it to get too high so we we're just going to have like some extras on the sides so as it gets lower we can add more I don't know when we're going to burn these trees it's definitely going to have to get drier out because we have a hurricane coming through and it's going to rain for the next couple of days so i don't think it'll be in the next week but we're just getting it prepped for when it is time to burn them so you can kind of see wade back there making a path um with that trusty push mower um for the extent of our driveway so when you come down that hill over there you would just normally drive this way once we're done with the driveway we're gonna have to build a bridge here just to get to our part of the land where we're gonna put our house my sister is wanting to build kind of over here it's a little bit cleared out already so we only have to cut a couple of trees down it's a really nice little spot um so where the truck is and where this straight area for the driveway would be we don't want to be that close to her house so we're gonna come when you come down this hill over here you're just gonna take a right and just kind of go around this way and come straight out where Wade's making the path and then you'll kind of come straight into this bridge so it's just a little bit uh, of a movement of the driveway but it won't be right on where she's building her house so that'll be really nice um we've kind of been trying to figure out if that's really what where she wanted to build and we kind of decided that anywhere else we're gonna have to knock a bunch of trees down that's what she really wanted to do so that's what we're gonna do but yeah so wade is really putting in the work today like i said this is the second time he's been out here today just really putting in the work 
it has been a few days since we've actually updated our progress on the land so I'm going to catch you all up to speed we came out I don't know today's Thursday we came out Sunday this past Sunday me Samantha her brother sister and her stepdad and really got a lot of work done and we're working back on the back side of the land uh, down the bottom of the hill where her sister plans on building her home and that's probably for us the best place to start um, and then work our way back forward until we cross over the bridge or the creek and start working on the land that Samantha and I plan on putting our house but we cleared a lot of the brush out um, again with my amazing awesome push mower um, my trimmer's fuel line is snapped uh, it got cut so I've got a replacement I just haven't put it on yet probably do that in the next couple days but Sam and I cut down a lot of brush or a lot of smaller trees and a couple of larger trees chopped up what we wanted for firewood we've got piles of the uh, brush just just kind of like laying around and my job probably over the next few days is to try to remove all of that brush because I want to be able to clear out as much as possible without making a huge mess at the same time so we're in the process of clearing it out and then cleaning up our mess and trying to work as clean as possible so that we're just kind of not working over each other and kind of going around other places so and plus it, it kind of helps all of us see um, where we're at because the the brush we're just kind of like piling up in whatever spots we can get it in but uh, it was fun when we were out here Sunday um, there was a lot of us we were all working in unison and uh, having fun took plenty of breaks uh, propped up a couple of stumps and set around set on the stumps there's already bugs out here this morning set up set on uh, the stumps like we were camping and had a few beverages and just really had a good old fun time it was nice it was relaxing and um, we were able to spend a few hours out here so the problem we're fixing to start running into is um, it's fixing to start getting darker really early and Samantha doesn't get off work till 5 and very soon shortly after 5 it'll start getting dark and, I, and let me tell you when when you're out here and it gets dark it is dark you really can't see anything so I'm spending as much time in the mornings during daylight hours as I can but still trying to go home and do all the computer work that I can can get done um, because I do have work as well um, and then you know we may be relying heavily on the weekends Saturday and Sunday being out here as long as possible so that's where we're at um, I did buy a wood chipper I went to Harbor Freight and bought a little like 212 cc wood chipper we brought it out here yesterday to start clearing out some of this brush it was the first time we used it we only got to use it for about an hour um, really didn't get that much time to get used to it we did chop up a few things um, so that's what I'm gonna do today I'm going to spend some time prepping the stuff that's gonna go in the wood chipper and then cranking up the wood chipper and uh, working on that yesterday it was kind of like too many people doing too many different things and I was running the chainsaw and I was also having to um, operate the wood chipper whenever a problem came so there was a lot of stopping for me and I just couldn't get in my groove of working so that's what I'm gonna do today I'm out here by myself should be fun I've got my earbuds and uh, I'm gonna have a good old time so I've spent um, I don't know maybe like two and a half hours out here I've gotten two of the two of the four piles done um, cut up ran through the mulcher shredder thing wood chipper but I do have a lot of like smaller piles of just things that I couldn't run through there 
or didn't want to run through there and I will eventually burn those but they are isolated I can probably go over it with my mower and mulch some of it because there's real small stuff but the rest of it I've kind of moved out into areas not underneath trees or near trees so that uh, I can start a burning one and then I can start moving the stuff over and, and slowly just get rid of it all so I am happy with the way the mulcher shredder thing worked um, it would have been nice to be able to put some bigger uh, well, not that big but you know like three and a half inch four inch stuff through there but I just didn't have the budget um, to do something like that and I looked at renting uh, one of those and then by the time I rented it for a couple of days, I might as well just bought it. So I didn't want to do that either. But I'm pretty pleasantly pleased. Um, I did put some cedar stuff through there. And good grief, it smells so good when it's coming through. But I'll show you the pile of mulch that we've gotten just off those two piles of uh, cut down junk. Um, and then I'll show you kind of what the property looks like now versus what it did when I first got here. All right, so here's the big pile of mulch that I've got. Um, kind of hard to see because the sun's going right through there, but I mean, oh, there's a twig that got in. It does shoot out a couple of little twigs, but overall, I mean, it's, oh, that cedar smells so good. It's really nice and, and fine. I don't know if you can tell. <laughs> So there's my first little pile to burn. And then there's my second little pile to burn. So I may come back out here later this evening and burn those two things. That way tomorrow I can come and take care of this pile of rubbish and that pile over there. And then um, come back Sunday and burn what's left over from that. And then clean this up a little bit. And uh, I guess start taking down more trees. Because like I said, i got to take down that tree. Those two trees. I think those two of the three. Like that one and that one. But we won't keep that one, I think. I don't know. But... This little clearing here was going to be Stephanie's driveway, but I think we have turned this section right here into what's going to be her driveway to give her more room. Um, since the there's like a little pond here, and you can't see it, but past a few of those trees, I don't know about. 10 or 15 yards back there's the fence that ends the property on this side but it's gonna look pretty nice I think I mean it already looks a ton better so now I've caught you all up on our progress from the last few days and shown you what I have been able to accomplish today I think it's a really good time to go ahead and end this vlog so we thank you guys for following along and we'll see you in the next one bye uh -huh.